Joined now by the double champion, one championships, Rainier de Rida, middleweight champion, light heavyweight champion. Great to see you, man. How's it going? Good, man. Thanks a lot. I'm happy to be home. Uh, the weather is getting better here in Holland. Um, gyms are opening back up. So uh, life is good. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, has it all sunk in for you? Has it all been nice to just have a little moment to put your feet up and just drink it in the success that you've had in the last year or so? No, I've never really put my feet up, man. I'm always busy. Um, so we're about to move gyms, um, move locations. So I'm very busy setting everything up right now, um, which is very cool. Training hard. Um, so I'm just keeping it going, keeping the good vibes going. It's interesting because uh, yeah. I, straight away, you know, the Brandon Vera call out was a really interesting one. Three titles. That was a kind of an interesting headline. And already you yeah. know, things have changed. Arjun Bular has the title. Are you still keen on Brandon Vera or is it all about the fact that he had the belt for you? And has, have you moved on from that now to, to Bular? It's all about the belt, um, but Bular doesn't want to do it. Uh, one isn't that interested either. Um, so I guess I'll defend the belts first. Interesting. I mean, you would think that as the double champion, you have quite a lot of sway. Is that something that you'll just keep in the back of your mind and maybe bring up at a later date? Well, um, at the end of the, at the end of the day, I can't make him fight me, right? So if he doesn't want to do it, then that's that is what it is, um, and I'll just keep going. It's interesting. I spoke to him the other day, and he seemed like he was up for it. And uh, you know, he was saying that he's not Brandon Vera. There's no way that you'd be able to, uh, you know, there's no uh, he's not Ang Lauren Sung. There's no way that you'd be able to take him down. You know, he he was kind of stoking the fire a little bit. He seemed kind of interested. Yeah, exactly. So. That was interesting, but um, still, uh, I'm not hearing any any signs of a go. Um, but I'm I'm very interested in fighting this guy. Um, I'm keen to show that I can take anybody down. I can throw a wrestler on his head. I don't mind at all. So what's what do you think is next for you? Do you think it's middleweight or light heavyweight? In terms, of I'd the say middleweight. Um, I think they'll rebook uh, Abasov. And what do you think of him as an opponent? Uh, yeah, which is fine, which is a good fight. So he'll, so he'll have a chance to be double champ then. Uh, what have you made yeah. of him? He's, he's been pretty impressive as the welterweight champion. What, what do you think of him as an opponent? Well, he's got good hands, good hand speed. Um, he's a lot shorter. Gets taken down pretty regularly um, by lesser grapplers than I am. Um, so I think it's a good matchup for me. Uh, he's a great fighter. Got, he, he's got lots of heart, but he really struggled in his last match. And um, I'm I'm keen to show that I can I can finish him and everybody in in the in one championship. You're six foot four. Uh, you know you're a big yeah. dude. Where are you most comfortable? Do you think? What is your ideal weight? Um, middle weight is my ideal weight. Um, I walk around at. 96, 97 kilos, and I can, uh, if I just watch my diet for a few weeks, I can make 93 kilos pretty easily. So middleweight is, is ideal. Um, but, man, I did all right at light heavyweight as well, and um, I'm still a lot taller than every heavyweight around, so um, I'm, I'm pretty confident in my abilities at heavyweight as well. I train with heavyweights on a daily basis, um, so I, I would really like to, to show that part, but I need to get the chance as well. Do you think you found your home in one championship? Are you happy here? You're 30 years old. You, you likely have uh, many more years of success at the top ahead of yeah. you. Because there's a lot of articles going around right now about the UFC versus one, you versus Izzy, yeah. you versus Jan Blachowicz. But I think it's probably not realistic that the crossover, right? But I mean, do you have ambitions no, to fight those guys one day? Yes, absolutely. I really like to fight those guys. Um, Izzy is a, is a perfect... Um, uh, stylistically a perfect opponent for me uh, he's about my size which would be very interesting um he got taken down last time and I'm, I'm very sure i can take him down um the way um young took him down i've been saying this for the last two three years this is the way to take him down it's pretty easy because um if you go if you throw two shots at his head he leans back and when he leans back his legs are perfectly open for any takedown um so there's a little bit of a hole there in his uh, takedown defense his takedown defense against the cage is, is very uh, strong, very, very technical. But his takedown defense in the open space is not just not that great. And 
we all know if I take him down, I'm finishing him. Is your plan to go to the UFC after you're finished with one championship? I will have to see how everything plays out. Um, the good thing at UFC is now they have a lot of events. And um, at the moment, uh, one is a little bit stuck in Singapore because uh, um, um, there are some regulations there um, uh, because of which they canceled the last event. Um, so UFC is just, is just able to be more active. Who do you think is the, the fighter that's really caught your eye that you really respect in the last year? Because I, I'd say that there's a strong argument that you're the fighter of the year in one championship right now. Is there, is there anybody else who you think really has really uh, caught your eye? Christian Lee is a monster, man. Uh, he's, done, uh, he's done some ama amazing stuff. Um, finishes everybody. If you, if you um, walk into this guy on the street, you wouldn't think any, anything of him. But um, he just, just finds a way to finish everybody. And I'm very impressed with him. Yeah, absolutely. And I would really like to see my, my training partner, my brother from another mother, Peter Pius, to fight him one day. Yeah, that would be a great fight. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so have you got it planned out or is it kind of up to one? So you say Abbasov is next, but it's a complicated one, you know, you're having to defend two belts. Have you got kind of a strategy in mind? Is it do that, then move up, then move down? How does it work? Um, so it's not that easy to gain or lose weight. Uh, lose weight is pretty easy, but to gain weight, to go up to um, uh, heavyweight or light heavyweight in muscle is not that easy. So... If I fight at heavyweight, at light heavyweight or at heavyweight, I'll probably be around 97, 98 kilos, uh, not a lot more. So just put me in whenever. I don't mind the weight difference. I think I can, if they have 10 kilos on me, 20 kilos on me, I don't mind. Um, so just put me in there. Uh, I fight every event. Give me a couple of months, uh, two months, three months, and, and put me in there. I don't mind against anybody. I don't mind the weight. I'm just ready to go. What's the reception been like back in Holland? Are people starting to take notice a little bit more? Are you starting to, to gain some respect? Yeah, you, yeah, I lost you a bit, a bit there, Andrew. But um, yeah, we're, um, it's getting better here in Holland. We are a country of uh, do normal and do your head canoe. This is a, a saying we, we use a lot. So act normal, it's crazy enough already. Um, so most people here need some time to catch on to stuff. But they're finally catching on a little bit. Um, and MMA is getting more popular. Uh, my name is going out there a lot more. So um, we're getting there slowly but surely. What do you think about the signing of Gordon Ryan for one championship? It doesn't look like he's going to transition to MMA for at least a few years. But, yeah. but as somebody who's fantastic at grappling and of similar size, is, is that something that interests you down the road? Yeah, absolutely, man. It would be uh, a huge honor to, to share the cage with him uh, one day. Um, but I believe he's out. I believe he's injured with a stomach issue right now. I don't think he's going to be fighting in MMA for a few years anyway. But uh, I nah, know. it doesn't. It, it doesn't really seem like uh, he's interested at all, um, as as far as I hear. Uh, but a grappling match would be exciting as well. Um, it would be really cool to to test my skills against uh, him. Um, I've been there in New York, like um, when I was a blue belt a long time ago, and rolled with the guys there. Um, so it'll be very cool to see how we've both grown uh, since then. And um, yeah. Awesome. Would you like to see a little bit more strength brought in uh, to middleweight and light heavyweight? Because heavyweight was a little bit ignored for a while, and then they signed a lot of really interesting guys like Rug Rug yeah. and Marcus Buchecha and all these guys coming in the last year, Amir Ali Akbari as well. Would you like to see some, some more signing, some more depth to the division at middleweight and light heavyweight? Yeah, absolutely. But I still have some guys to go as well. So, Abbasov, I'd like the rematch with uh, Atidas one day. He's the only guy who never finished. Um, so, I'd like to see that. And there's a um, big dash maybe in the future. So, there's some fights there. Uh, but some new guys will be welcome as well. Do you, do you back online son to get back to winning ways and, and get back to his best? Yeah, absolutely, man. He's a legend of the game. Um, nothing but respect to him, um, to what he's done and what he's, what he's doing, um, how he supports his family, um, all the good things he does for his country. Man, he's a champion uh, in and outside of the cage, and I, and I hope he does well in his next couple of fights, but never against me anymore. Twice and done. 
Respect, man. Rainier, great to see yeah. you. You're the man. Cheers, bro. Thanks, Andrew.